What's up guys, welcome back to another video. It's been a while. In today's video, you're going to be learning all about setting your entire dropshipping business from scratch and creating a branded Shopify website using the theme Debutify. By now, we all know that Debutify is one of the best e-commerce themes built specifically for Shopify. Let's jump in my computer and I'll, I'll take you through the whole tutorial from selecting the product, building the brand and designing the website using the latest Debutify theme. <laughs> So we're going to start with a complete tutorial. I'm going to give you guys access to this entire document that has all the steps and all the links that you need. It's going to be down in the description, so make sure you follow along. Don't miss any step because every single step is brief and to the point. I'm not going to spend a lot of time explaining things that you already know. So in case you don't have any winning product yet, I recommend that you go to dropship.io. If you go through this link, you'll get a discount. By far, one of the easiest uh, tools to navigate and uh, find winning product. Uh, the only trick here, I'm just going to give you my filters, the, the exact filters that I use to find those opportunities. So without further ado, these are the filters. We do 5,000 minimum sales per month up to 250,000 because you don't want to be competing with huge brands. And then we do last 90 days product creation all store date doesn't matter english and then us dollars you also could add in the title the tm a common symbol that dropshipper used to name their products now you can already see a list of products that are selling right now making 33k 5k 10k and, and so on and so forth i'm looking this time to build pet shop because i know pet niche is one of the evergreen niches that i can always drop ship and actually brand which i've already done before i've branded some of the products so it's one of my favorite niches you can go after something like this so if i open this up this is the competitor. They're selling this product for $60. Funny enough, they're also using the Beautify. We're going to try and build an even better store than this. Just follow along and then we can also compete in this product. First step, I found the product that I want to sell. Now I'm able to, to check what's my cost in this, what's my profit margin. I have to look in AliExpress and find the exact same product. To make this easy, there is a Chrome extension called AliExpress search by image. Install this on your Google Chrome. And then with right click, you do this, and then it's gonna do an image search basically in AliExpress. I've already done it, it's gonna load. Click one of those, and it's gonna take you to the supplier page. This is one example. Obviously, there is a lot of suppliers that you can use. It's eight dollars free shipping. So the profit margin is huge in this product. We're selling it for 60 to at least $50 profit margin, which is perfect. Don't set anything for cheaper than 20 because you're going to be spending a lot of money on ads. So you want to be left off with some profit at the end of the day. Let's say, for example, you spend on this product like $25 to get a customer. Then you still have like $25 in profit as well. So that's a perfect example of a good product that you should be testing. The next step, let's go back to our document. So we need to find a brand name. So I highly recommend always build a branded niche store it makes your life easy you can test a lot of different products in that niche but also looks branded more trustworthy than general stores we, we use this uh, tool called namelex to come up with different brand name ideas uh, obviously we can use ChatGPT, but i just like this it makes my life easy i type the keyword that i want to go after it I write like animals and then you can choose like different style and how how you want it to be like, random or just related to the niche and then Eventually you get a name that you can uh, use and then you just plug it into this website namechecker.com to just make sure that you have the .com domain available, Facebook page name available so that you can use it uh, for your own brand. I already did the research and I found my name. It's going to be Canimal Pets. And then the next step, basically, you go into this website. It's crazy cheap. You can buy a domain name for like $6. Don't buy it from Shopify. Shopify charges like $15 for the domain name. You can get it through this link for $6 only. Now we need to create a logo for this brand. Create a simple one on Canva. You can get Canva Pro 30 days free using this link. I'll leave everything down in the description as well if you need it. So let's go to Canva. It's very simple to create a logo with Canva. So all you have to do is just click New. And then you click Logo, basically come up to something like this so let's go straight to the point we want to create a pet shop logo so we can write something like cat make it very simple don't over it so something like this and then i'll just put my store name here so perfect pretty looks amazing very simple and nice it's my brand that's all i need and then i can download this so here's the trick you want to download it as a transparent image so that you can fit it on the header without uh, white spaces around it one extra step we need to crop out all the white spaces around the logo. If you're using Mac, you're going to follow the step, do a markup, or otherwise, if you're using Windows, you can use Paint, uh, this the software that you get with Windows. You just have to remove any white space around the logo. Okay? It fits nicely in your header without any problem, just like that. 
and we're done. Now, the next step is to basically create a Shopify store. So if you click this link, you'll get three days for free and then $1 for the whole month. We definitely recommend that you use this link. All you have to do is just enter your email address here and create a free Shopify store. So once you do that, you're gonna see something like this. Obviously, without the uh, themes, you have to now install the Beautify theme, which I'm gonna walk you through the steps that you need to take to able to do this. Right, so if you click on this, link will take you to my uh, special offer from BD Beautify. I partner up with them so that you get you this crazy deal. You can get 30% off for the first three months. Obviously, you can use the theme for free. You don't have to pay for anything. If you like the extra add-ons, honestly, it's a big money saver because you don't need any other subscriptions. Anyway, so once you come here, you click claim your free trial. Again, you can use the theme completely free. You can follow along this video. You don't need to pay anything. If you don't have an account, you can create one with Google, Facebook, or you basically just register with an email. All right, so you're going to see a bunch of things. Uh, they do have a, a reviews app by the way which is amazing and you get a discount if you use both of them basically so i'll highly recommend later on you can add this app to import customer reviews so we're gonna go with the beautify theme to make it easy because there's a lot of stuff going on you just have to go to the theme library then all templates they're also creating special templates for each niche. So if you're doing a baby store, you could use this template, very customized and optimized for this niche. And this is for fashion. We're just gonna go ahead and use the default theme and make sure you're downloading the latest version. So this should say 7.3. Yep, there it is. The Beautify theme 7.3, the latest version, save that. So now you have a zip file that you can upload to your Shopify store. Let me show you how you can do this. So you click add theme, upload zip file. And then you find the file that you just downloaded from the Beautify upload it here you're gonna take a few seconds to load up and then you can start customizing your theme now we go and into our Shopify store and go to the settings few basic settings that we need to adjust before doing anything else make sure you connect your payment processor here check out you want to follow this structure so allow people to check out with email require first and last name don't include this. Don't include address line two. Require phone number because you want the supplier to ship out the products with the phone number of the customer so they're able to contact them. It says the abandoned checkout emails to follow up with people who leave their emails and, and, and they don't end up buying the product. So you send a reminder after one hour. Save this. We're going to go to the next most important thing, which is the shipping and delivery. But I'm just going to simplify it for you. So first you start at the markets. Make sure you open the international market and then click here, Make sure it's active. And then to add all the countries, you can just come here and edit and select all your countries that you want to ship to. And then you go back to the shipping to simplify, just delete all the profiles that you see and then create one shipping zone, include all the countries and call it worldwide. And then I would highly recommend that you set up a free shipping, call it free insured shipping. Now this is done. Now there's the next step, which is the domains. So earlier we bought the domain for the one that we got for $6. Just come here and connect it. Click connect existing domain, plug it in. You'll, you're going to see the instructions. You just have to follow through the steps and you're good to go here. And then the last setting that we have to adjust here just the policies make sure to generate all of these i have samples written for you so you can copy and paste them in your stores all of these pages will be available uh, here in the useful template so you can just copy and paste them now that we adjusted all the settings now we can go jump in our theme and start customizing it so this is the theme that we uploaded earlier the latest version of the beautify just click publish so that way it will be the main theme in your store and then you can start customizing everything here. So let's go through the basics, show you around how to use this theme properly, and then we'll focus on how to build a nice product page using DBTFine. So first step, you wanna have your logo here. So to add the logo, you just have to highlight the header and then go to a logo and then upload the one that we created in Canva. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, so here's our logo. You might wanna adjust the width to make it a bit shorter. Perfect, it fits nicely. And that's why I told you to download it without any background and remove the white space around it. So now we can add in our slideshow, which is the main banner for the store. This basically can be um, just a general uh, photo about the niche. For example, I can put some cats and dogs, or I could go even deeper and add a product picture with an offer. So let's just do, for this example, a generic pet uh, photo. By the way, you can also add a video background with the Beautify. That's one of the features that uh, is allowed on the Beautify. You can have a background video playing on the banner. 
which is pretty cool. If you want to change the, any text here, you will find it on the right side here. So let's say Black Friday sale. And then in the next description, we say like 50% off site white. Something like this. I usually like to give an offer or a slogan for the brand. Now you have two buttons. You can either keep them or delete one of them. Just keep one shop now and, and it's linked directly to your products. All right. So the next section here is the featured collection. So basically display all the products that you are selling in the store. So if you click on again, any, any section in the beautify, if you click on it on the left side, you can see all the settings on the right side, very simple. You just have to read through where and find where exactly you need to edit. So this is the collection. Then I just have one collection for now. I'll keep it with one product. This is our product. Obviously, if you have more products, it's going to show up here. And then next we have the featured product. Again, you click on the section and then you can select here and edit. For now, again, we have only this product in the store, but we obviously can add more. And then you have the trust badges, which is a free uh, feature built into the theme. And I'll show you how you can customize it even more. You have those icons that by the way you can change the colors and everything and also change the icon itself so let's say i want to say something like um shipping you already have it here and then if you want something like um security or you know pr uh, privacy or uh, secure payments basically you can just go here view all available icons it takes you to the google icons or google fonts and then just get the lock for example and then you have to copy this code and go back here and just enable it and now we can type something like uh, secured payments right so the most common ones will be secured payments free shipping and then 24 7 customer support that's it right so in the home page i honestly don't like to over complicate it just make sure you have all the details this is these are the the, the footer menu that we set up we added all the policies just make sure it's available here and then you have your store details here, the brand name, and then any slogan or promotion that you have, you can share it here. Now, the other interesting part, which is the product page. If we click here and go to the default uh, product page, by the way, you can build as many templates as you want for each product page, because you can customize the template itself to suit this certain product. So you can click create template. And then based on default product, you're going to create another one like product two. And then later on in the product section in your admin, I can show you how to assign it to that product. So let's just uh, do this example with the default product. Right. So this is our product already uploaded. We've got the description and we got the price. Obviously you want to do more than that. Uh, don't use the, just the default description here. I would highly recommend that you start adding sections. And the most common one is the uh, image with text. So let's go on and find that image with text. So that way your store feels more branded. There's more um, brand element into it rather than just a block of text. All right. So let's get rid of, let's get rid of this section and this section as well. We can remove these for now. And then in here you can start uploading product images, but I highly recommend in the first image of your sections, it would be a GIF showing your product in action. That usually works way better. And then in the text side here, you have your first headline. The headlines, I like to think of, think of them uh, as a way to um, portray the value of the product as benefits, as you know, the problems that you're solving with this product and making it more appealing for the customer. So you can do this multiple times and then you can have three or four of those sections and then you can repeat that process and other headline and an image. And then ideally you want to end up with the comparison of your competitor or like comparing your product with a similar solution. And then you end up with a call to action. Now I'm going to show you a really good trick so that you can come up with the best copy for your product. So you can really make professional product pages. And this is using the power of AI using ChatGPT. I'm going to give you the exact prompt that you need to do. If you want, by the way, if you want to the copy and paste the exact prompt that I used, I'll leave it in the description as well so that you can copy it and use it for your product. So this is how we're going to do it. We open a ChatGPT and then we say, this is the product I want to sell. This is the competitor website and we paste the link. And then we write this whole prompt, write a compelling detailed product description 
using the structure, ensure the copy is emotionally engaging and persuasive. And then we give it the structure that we want. So as we said, we want headline one, headline two, headline three, and then uh, FAQs, guarantee section, comparison, and even testimonials. And you can see the output. We got the headline one, see what your cat sees, capture every precious moment. And then we talk about the problem. Are you constantly wondering what your felon friend is up to and when they are you are, are not around? It's frustrating not knowing if they are safe, getting so really good copy. All we have to do now is just copy and paste it in the, the Beautify template. It's pretty straightforward, just add sections. So every time you wanna add a section, you click here, you can use the image and text section, you can use the FAQ section, and you can also use um, slideshow or rich text to add some text. A slideshow if you want to display the image. You already have a full complete store, but if you wanted to spice it up and add more conversion elements, you would subscribe to the Beautify Pro version. And that way you can get access to those 72 widgets that you can use in your Shopify store. So something like add, add to cart animation. So it, it adds a little shake to your uh, add to cart button and so much the other things that you can use. One of my favorite ones is like skip to cart, skip cart. So when someone clicks add to cart, they go straight to checkout. That, that increases your conversion rate by a lot every time. Trust badges can have the payment logos and then upsell bundles, upsell pop-up. This is really good way to increase your average order value. We always talk about increasing your average order value because this is the only way you're going to be profitable nowadays with ads. If you have, if you're selling something for 29 and then you're spending 25 on ads, you're not going to be profitable. You need to sell more than that. And each section, if you click learn more, they show you exactly how to configure it. Straightforward um, configuration, even Instagram, order tracking, page speed booster, transition animation, all of the stuff that you used to pay for, you can get it for free with the Beautify. So I highly recommend that you follow the, all the structures that we follow today and download the Beautify. You can claim 30% off uh, if you use the same link that I provided in the description and you can follow along these steps so you can have your own branded Shopify dropshipping store. I hope you found a ton of value in this short tutorial about creating your Shopify store using the Beautify. If you need anything that we talked about in this video will be linked in the description. The Beautify, all the steps and the ChatGPT prompts, everything is listed down for you. There's no opt-in, you just click the link and get access to everything. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.